there's a stepped up effort to get teachers vaccinated now that schools in LA County are eligible to reopen. KKL 9's Chris Holmstrom shows us what's being done. Where is our leadership? Where is the urgency? Dana Rosenthal is one of thousands of frustrated parents ready for their kids to go back to school. That after 11 months, they're still not opening the schools. They don't have the excuses anymore. County says the numbers are going down. They had 11 months to figure this out, and yet they're still punting. Her son Brody agrees and tells me what he misses the most. Oh, learning properly and seeing my friends. LAUSD Superintendent Austin Butner hopes to open back up soon. Today, the district announced its first school vaccination site for staff in Echo Park. They're pushing for their next site to be in Inglewood. We'll have the capacity at Hollywood Park to do everybody quite quickly, whether that number of doses come or not, we do not yet know. That proposed site still needs approval from the county. If it gets the green light, the site will run in collaboration with the L.A. Rams, Hollywood Park, and the city of Inglewood. L.A. County Public Health Director Dr. Barbara Ferrer. Many school districts are already partnering uh, with each other and with providers to create vaccination sites for their workforce. And in some cases, they'll be able to vaccinate teachers and staff from other districts and other schools. The biggest issue, the lack of vaccine doses. The district was only allotted 2,000 this week. The push comes after the county gave the district the all clear to reopen elementary schools for learning. LAUSD and its teachers union, UTLA, won all teachers vaccinated first. I'm in a middle school and I have sixth, seventh and eighth grade students. And I think that there's a great deal of risk because remember, children can be very asymptomatic carriers and that's, that's not good if you're the adult in the room. And Superintendent Butner says if the district can get 25,000 vaccines for teachers, they could reopen classrooms within 50 days. Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News. This is a live picture.